Five bucks, it doesn't fit. I'll take that bet. And so you take it? Yeah, I'll take it. We're in the office, and I'm in a rocking chair from my wife's grandmother, rocking on the world's worst floor. So when we bought the office, it came with this flooring and it's terrible. We're using this room for a lot of things and I like it to be one, cleaner, two, better looking, three, inspiring AF. And this carpet does none of that. So we need a solution. So I guess the first thing we should probably do is figure out how much we need. All right. Here, have a tape measure. Well, that's gonna be six. Thanks, I already know that. We need this way. You wonder why none of our tape measures. I do not wonder at all. I've done this like 93 times. So basically the room is 53 by 17. So we need to find, I would say, probably 1,000 to 1,200 square feet of something. Are you gonna wanna do your office as well? No, I'm not remodeling my office until I hit my personal goals. What does that even mean? I'm not telling you, because they're mine. Okay, so we gotta pick a product now. All right, whatever. Are we watch a movie? <laughs> Two things that are important to me. One, durability. For sure. Two, affordability. Right, we want cheap and strong, probably over anything else. I think I want to go vinyl, and then yeah, vinyl you're gonna hate good. this, but we're gonna sort it by price. Ooh, 88 cents a square foot. Ooh, corn silk, zero boxes there. Seven here, two there. Diamond, you so bitch. Ooh, majestic. What is going on? Everything's exploding. We want something under a buck. Ah! <laughs> 101 miles away. Ah, it's probably because I'm looking for peasant price flooring. Mm. It says they have it. Where? Is that our girl? Yeah, baby. See that? That's our winner. We should probably make our own trim. Probably get like three three sheets of MDF and then 1,100 square feet of flooring. To the store! Got him on there, Sam? I want to grab your Ninja Turtle. Uh, I'll pick that for you right there. So stupid. Did you not unlatch them? No, I didn't unlatch them. I'm stupid. Just Sam out here. Potentially breaking my shit. Go back to you. Please. I'm going well, we picked up the flooring a couple days ago. Everybody got distracted on their computers. Uh, so let's go find John and actually start doing this floor. What are you doing? Making sure people know that we're still alive on social. And also, it seems like you're watching I'm warming up. security. I'm, I'm warming up the flooring. That is important. And myself, because I do not like being on the floor. Yeah, it's going to be rough. Are we ready, though? I think we're ready. Um, oh. Bart explained. Turn the f***ing camera off, because I'm stuck. <laughs> We actually gonna build something with it. We're gonna do flooring today. Take that. Look at the grossness over here. Like, just all around awful. Yep, show them the beaters. Oh yeah, they've seen it. So We painted uh, this place to kind of clean it up a little bit and then it, it just wasn't enough. And we have very, very amateur painters. I won't point out who they are. But we ripped the trim off and I can't not look at it. Look at that. We also want to create kind of a showroom, I think, for some of the custom orders and whatnot that we're gonna be taking and some stuff to stage and gives us a better opportunity for photography and a couple other things and whatnot. So we've got the lights, the walls are kind of painted. I might need some touch up. Now it's time for the floor. Was this carpet this awful when we moved in? Uh, let's just see if we can get it. Found a sheath, that's the word. Uh. Nice! Found knee pads at the store. I think I'm officially old. I'm getting too sore for this stuff. We're gonna try these. Kinda like it as is. Padding was glued down, which we thought could be catastrophic and ruin this whole project, but it seems like it might but just- How would it ruin the project? <laughs> Because if we can't get it up, how are we going to put the floor down? We can get it up. It's just stuff. Uh, fortunately, they just glued it on the edge, right? In the words of our forefathers, rip it and rip it. That actually went 
Fairly quickly, Jordan's finishing getting the tax strips up. I think I'm gonna start trying to get this tile up. We've decided the tile sucks, we don't want it. We were thinking about maybe painting it. Apparently John bought some kind of a tile paint. I don't actually know what it is. I've never heard of such a thing, but ah, this tile's gotta go. We bought enough floor to do the whole thing, so we're doing the whole thing. Uh, I hope this comes out. We burning it down? Yep. Let's see what this goo gone does. What we're running into right now is we've, they, yeah, I think it was mastic. I don't know. It's got a little bit more of like a caulking kind of vibe going on. So because of that, it's creating a little bit of an uneven surface. So we're going to try to get it as level as we can and clean as we can before we do anything more. Better. Yeah, better for them to sit too. Mm -hmm. We are going to take this big roll of plastic and here. Kick it all the way down to the other side. Keep going. All right now, give yourself like five or six inches further than what's there and then cut it off. I said five, six inches. I don't know what kind of measuring tape you use for five inches, but. I think we're to the point where we're gonna lay down some plastic and get some, what are you doing? Having lunch? Is that cereal? It is cereal. What kind of grown man eats cereal for lunch? This one? That's you literally. You, you. you obviously haven't heard of Magic Spin. What is Magic Spin? It's delicious. And it only has four net carbs, 13 grams of protein, comes in a variety of flavors that I bet taste just like the treats that you used to eat as a little kid. Doesn't sound like it would be tasty. You shut your mouth. Damn it. You wash this real quick. Seriously, though. If you like to eat cereal and you're looking for a healthier option, you gotta check out Magic Spin. My wife and I, like no joke, love it. She has a sweet tooth and to try and suppress the amount of uh, sugar that she takes in, she doesn't eat normal cereal, so she eats Magic Spoon because there is no sugar in Magic Spoon. It's delicious and some would say nutritious. That's a small enough spoon. So if you wanna save five bucks, use the code Malecki down below and was I right or was I right? Do we have more of this? No, you're cut off. Get back, get back to work. So we've done a couple of crucial things for getting set up. Torn up the floor, cleaned up, we swept up, we scraped glue, we ate lunch, we ate cereal. Now we have the plastic laid down. The next step we want to do is you want to make sure that you're not going to give yourself a little sliver on the end. So you want to take distance of the room, divide it by the width of a piece, and then you want to see if it ends on like a whole number or like 15.5 or 15.1. If it ends in like a point one or something really small, you want to start with like a half piece or do the math to figure out how to make them even because you don't want to end with a little sliver. Start with a half, end with a half. A little pro tip there. All right, so put a couple, I want to put three pieces in that first row, but it's really hard to get them all like kind of locked in. So it's better to start the second row and sort of do them in tandem as you go down to get it kind of nice and square. And I'm struggling to speak words today. You'll see. Uh, Jordan's never done flooring before, so he, I would say he's, He's slower than frozen molasses, Sam. He's concussed. Uh, he got a concussion being an idiot. We don't have any sympathy for that. But I will say, we're making progress. It looks slightly above average, which is kind of the goal here. I bought the absolute cheapest laminate that I could find because I didn't want to spend $3,000 on office flooring that's probably going to turn into really trashy stuff. So we're running out from this far wall. Sam cut in this doorway. Now he's going down here, finishing the long run. He'll cut in the other doorway and we'll just chase him with full boards now. Come up the room and then they'll kind of stack back and then all of our cuts will run this. So it, it's pretty simple and pretty easy. I'll let Sam explain it better because he's better than me at it. This is a great little flying tip. So we're at the end of our row here. It's a little weird. We're just kind of guesstimating by the door just because of the way it is. So right now I've got this board to like four or five inches too long. I could get out a tape measure, I could guess, I could do a bunch of stuff, all that takes too long. You just take your board, flip it around so that it's the backwards for the way you want, and then hold it, just kind of line up your end flush with where you want. Then you give yourself a pencil mark. You want to take your pencil mark and see where, see where the flooring ends on the, that piece, where the actual flooring is. You want to mark right there, and then you want to cut off this piece, and when you go and put it in, We'll cut it first. Spin it back around. 
Drop them in. Go there. Now your pieces lined up. Sam's trimming this wall here, and I've got five bucks it doesn't fit. I'll take that bet. So you take it? Yeah, I'll take it. Ooh. I will say, that is very uncharacteristic of you to hit it on the first shot. But that's a three quarter inch gap, so. Like hell it is. <laughs> Here's your five. Buying ice cream. Nicely done. So anyway, we're up to this uh, partition wall and you do always leave gaps like that. Uh, that gets covered by the trim when it comes around. Uh, and that's what allows this material to expand and contract. Just what? a little seesaw. What the hell, Ricky Bobby? Let me put down the... Uh... What we got? <laughs> that's trash, throw that out. Right? Now the papers are gonna escape. Yeah. Well, it's the next morning. We only got about half of it done. Uh, it's like a winter wonderland outside. So John decided that he didn't need to come to work. Lazy bum. So it's just Jordan and I today. Uh, but I'm hungry. Jordan, you wanna go get breakfast? All right, let's go. Breakfast. What'd you get? I got the app sampler because I'm fat and stupid. Bro, it's, it's nine in the morning. And I was calling some cheese plates. What'd you get? I don't know. I, I hit the two button. Pretty good, too. It was in the Lord's hands. Well, pretty close. I like the hard parts are done. We got around all the doors and walls. A little bit more to do over here. It should go pretty fast. As you can see, we have the last little room. I always measure two inches off of for the finished width of the floor. And um, I make that measurement off the finished width, not including the gaps. I mark it on the piece, and then I'll take a pencil so I can see it, and then I'll just line this up by eye, lock it in. Take my good piece, drop it in. Now we take whole pieces, we'll rip that, put it in, rip it, put it in. We'll be done with this half. All right, off to Lowe's, and look who, look who decided to come with us. Little Bear Bear, and we're gonna treat him to Lowe's trip. And then we might get him a pup cup, if he's good. Here, Bear. There you go, big guy. Okay, so now that the flooring is done, we bought some MDF. It actually ended up being cheaper for us to make our own trim. We're just gonna do a really basic chamfer on the top, nothing too crazy, so it's actually cheaper to buy the three sheets of MDF and rip, our, rip it down ourselves, so that's exactly what we're gonna do. Unfortunately, we're using the little table saw because the saw stop still doesn't have power. That's an issue for another time. Once again, Jordan and I are still just on our own here. Yeah, let's get to rip it. Now that we've got all our boards cut to size, we're gonna go ahead and paint them. We just went with a basic white paint, nothing fancy. So we'll get this stirred up. Probably have to do a couple of coats. We better get started. Flooring, it's made such a huge difference. I am very excited about it. So the plan now is to run the trim. We've got it all stacked up and organized. How we'll have to get a miter saw set up for it. Most of the the spots along the walls are longer than eight feet, which is how long our trim boards are. So I'm gonna start by making it easy on myself and everywhere I can, I'll put in all the whole boards first. So I'll bounce around, do that, starting with the biggest gap and the smallest piece and you work backwards. It's the most efficient way to use your material. So that's what we're gonna do because the last thing we're gonna do is have to make more trim that took a while yesterday. So let's get to it. All right guys, that's a wrap on this. Uh, this floor looks amazing. The trim really brought this room together. It looks like a whole new space. Even the, uh, the FedEx got it. It was like, wow, you guys really turned this place around. So that was super awesome. Thank you to Jordan for helping me on this one. We still don't know where John is, so if you guys have seen him, let us know. You'll have to tune in next week, see if he even works here anymore. If you haven't subscribed already, please, uh, it's right there. Click on the subscribe button. And if you want to see more ridiculous projects that Jordan and I have done, this is right here.